let us understand about classifications of hydroelectric power plants generally the hydroelectric power plants may be classified according to first one availability of water flow that is the extent of water flow regulation available and second one the availability of water heads then third one the type of load they supply now under first one we have three sub categories that is run that is the extent of water can be categorized further category into two types one is run of river power plants without poundage run of river power plants with poundage then reservoir of power plants let us understand how they work now when you see as the name indicates run of power plants without poundage so generally in this type of power plant so here there is no poundage or the storage availability here the water is taken directly from the river so there is no storage or poundage facility available generally these types of plants uses water whenever it's only available because as there is no storage whenever only water flow is available we will be able to use so what happens here during high flow and low load periods water is wasted and also during lean flow periods the plant capacity will be very less so such water plants is mainly used for irrigation or navigation purpose only here power generation is done but it it will not be consistent here so but these types of power plants are very low in cost so this is the uses of run off river power plants without poundage now the next one is run off river power plants with poundage now we can see here run off river with poundage in this case here run off with poundage the usefulness of the run off river now the storage comes into picture everything remains same but as we include the storage what are the uses let us understand with the poundage now poundage refers to the a small amount or a small storage the plant so which makes plant possible to generate whenever the water is available and it is stored so what will happen the two points what we discussed that is without storage will be eliminated here because even during lean period the water can be made to store here and the third plant is reservoir power plants here as we all have understood reservoir or power plants is stored in the reservoir behind the dam here it is well balanced well controlled to so the for the flow of water now the second classification depending upon the availability low head that is availability of water head there are three types of again availability of water heads low head medium head and high head power plants now head means here the distance between the reservoir and the entering of the pen stand now you can observe here the low head power plants and the medium head power plants and high head power plants when we observe carefully here low head medium head and high head power plants we will be able to understand here clearly that the difference in heights of the water flow is categorized as low head medium head and high head power plants so depending upon what type of power plant is suitable for us keeping that in mind these power plants have been designed here now if it is very low in nature as we see here low head if it is less than 10 10 meter to 50 meters we call as low head power plant in the medium head more than 50 meters and up to 200 meters it can be called as medium head power plants and high heads more than 200 meters difference can be called as high head power plants then the last one last category is according to types of load supply there are three types according to types of load supply base load peak load and pumped storage plants for the peak load 
when we classify this here, what is the base load? Base load me means the regular road which we utilize continuously for the maybe it may be residential purpose, whether it may be industrial purpose. Base load means which is the basic requirement for every household or industry, which is the minimum requirement. It's called as base load. Peak load means the demand which is more than the regular demand. Whenever the more than the regular demand is seeked, it's called as peak load. So, power plant can also be designed to supply only for the base load or for the peak load. And the last one is pumped storage plants for the peak load. Pumped storage plants means creating additional pumping storage unit so that whenever there is a peak demand, the water is pumped twice again back to the dam or the storage unit from the lower portions. So, in this method, pumped storage plants also can be utilized properly so that whenever there is a peak plant, suppose let us imagine uh, during summer or during the evening and there is a compared to the day, evening time especially we require more load at your house because everybody is at home. When we take the example of residential building, everybody is at home from the offices. Maybe in the during summer we want the AC to run and the fans to run continuously at house. So what will happen when we calculate all the loads which are running parallelly, we may, we, we may say that that individual house is consuming more power than the average base. So during those periods, these pumper storage plants can be utilized for the demand which is created additionally. So this is how the classification of hydroelectric power plants is done and it's working. Thank you.